Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the review of the Volantex Atomic uh, RC boat. Uh, this is a bit uh, different from uh, my usual reviews because until now I haven't uh, reviewed any kind of boat so this is a start for me also. Uh, the Atomic uh, boat is uh, a faster model that uh, you can uh, buy in a ready to run uh, uh, configuration and, uh, and uh, it's uh, not very expensive it's around $150 so it's a very good uh, racing board for a beginner uh, and being uh, ready to run it comes with uh, of course a transmitter it comes with a servo for steering uh, it has water cooled um, motor and ESC and of course uh, it has a replaceable uh, propeller which uh, should be absolutely normal but it has interchangeable components so we are going to skip that uh, here are some uh, um, sizes uh, so it has uh, 690 millimeters length and uh, 200 millimeters wide so let's see what we get in the box of course it also comes with a lipo battery and a charger so it's uh, uh, really ready to run you only need some batteries for the remote controller in the box you get this uh, uh, nice manual here uh, which has the parts described uh, it even comes with a support for storing it so you want to uh, break any of uh, its uh, parts for uh, uh, letting it sit on um, on its belly it also shows us the detailed installation and it gives us hints it also has troubleshooting so uh, it's rather a good manual um, we also get a small manual for the transmitter and receiver uh, Volantex uh, has their own uh, uh, models or brand which is Xmeter that comes with their products and here it's the bolt itself so let's take it out of the box feels nice it has a uh, unibody design made from one single piece of uh, plastic and there is the rudder and the propeller this is plastic and plastic so no metal parts here we have the water pickup for cooling the design is rather nice it's nicely finished so we are going to take a closer look at it soon let's see what else we get in the box so here we get some spare parts it's a propeller some small keys a binding wire for the receiver and on this other side here we get the lipo charger and the battery so I'm going to take them out that's the greatest packing but at least it's safe during transport so better safe than sorry take the battery out let's see the specs on it so it's a 2600 milliamps 3 cell battery and it has a 20c discharge rate which is not great but not bad so probably it should work normally on uh, this boat we'll see what ESC it got and if it has any kind of specifications on it let's take also a quick look at the charger it looks like a pretty standard one you get boxed with most of RC 
stuff so yes it's a Volantex RC 3 cell balance charger and it comes with its own power adapter of course in the box you also get a transmitter which feels rather nice and it has a steering trim a, total, a throttle trim it also has here another uh, button which is not labeled actually it's a dial you can finally rotate it it also has steering reverse throttle reverse a binding uh, switch and an LED it also has here the hidden power on off switch and this one it also isn't labeled so it also has here some labels about marine and surface or maybe you can change mode or the expo will read the manual and we'll see uh, what is that about so here it's also the support which you can assemble and uh, store the boat on it so let's now go back to the boat oh, I have not installed the support so I'm gently going to let it sit here and I should be able to open the hatch from this lever here which is the locking mechanism and from the start you can see the boat has a rubber uh, gasket around uh, this but uh, it doesn't look like it is going to keep all the water out so that will be interesting to test uh, and there is the servo the small receiver is in there let's see does it I'm looking if it's written on it something about being waterproof or not and I don't see that written on it it's also a three channel uh, receiver so you can add some things like lights on it and probably the transmitter can control it so this is the uh, ESC which comes with velcro and it's water cooled it's a 40 amp and it's compatible with 2 and uh, 4S from 2 to 4S uh, LiPo so that is nice maybe you can upgrade this to 4S directly but uh, we need to figure out if the motor will uh, resist to all of uh, that extra voltage and the uh, motor as you can see it's a hot runner motor uh, a rather large one but that's normal for a boat because there's a lot more strain on the motor than on a drone and it uses a flexible transmission shaft as you can see this is bend here so it's uh, it has a kind of a flexible spring inside the battery will go here where you get uh, velcro pads pre-installed and velcro straps already uh, installed so that should be easier for you to start with let's do a quick uh, test to see if everything runs uh, after its uh, long way uh, from uh, China to me so I'm going to power on the transmitter it has a LED here uh, also found out that this button will change the way the throttle and uh, brake will work so it has uh, a percent uh, here uh, 7 to 3 or 5 to 5 so you can split the resolution of uh, acceleration and braking half and half or have better resolution at uh, throttle and uh, less resolution at braking so that should be fine it should provide some uh, uh, more uh, control over it and uh, the um, small knob here in front is uh, uh, the dual rates uh, adjust so that changes the sensitivity of uh, your steering so I'm going to connect the battery power And we already have steering. Let's see if the dual rate works. And if I put 
quantity to minimum yes it's from zero to full as you can see it can move only a bit or or at maximum so that's nice because um, you can take it more gently at the beginning so you are going to avoid uh, flipping it on uh, one side uh, now let's see if we get throttle yes we get throttle and it works very nice uh, the next, next uh, thing that is going to happen for this boat is uh, to go on water but first I'm going to do some uh, checkups uh, to see if uh, water uh, will get in or not uh, to see if it's properly balanced if it floats or not um, I'm going to check each of the screws to if they are uh, tighten uh, enough uh, to see I don't want to lose the propeller in the water or thing like that so all things like this must be uh, firstly checked up and uh, then it will go into water so hopefully the water test will come very soon uh, be sure to follow my channel to see uh, its uh, running video until then bye bye